Now, let us study about the propagation of sound to understand the pattern of sound wave. We know that sound is a form of energy. It travels through the air and reaches our ears to give the sensation of sound. We know that the matter or the substance through which sound is transmitted is called medium. When an object vibrates, these vibrations set the particles of the medium, that is air medium, around the object into vibrations. These vibrating particles do not travel all the way from the vibrating object to the ear. A particle of the medium in contact with the vibrating object is first displaced from its equilibrium position. It then exerts a force on the adjacent particle and gets displaced from its position of rest. After displacing the adjacent particle, the first particle comes back to its original position. This process continues in the medium till the sound reaches our ear. So, it is the disturbance created by the source of sound in the medium that travels through the medium and not particles of the medium. For this reason, sound waves are characterized by the motion of particles in the medium and are called mechanical waves. Note, pressure is related to the number of particles of a medium in a given volume. More density of the particles in the medium gives more pressure and vice versa. When a vibrating object moves forward, it pushes and compresses the air in front of it, creating a region of high pressure. This region is called a compression, represented by C, which starts to move away from the vibrating object. When the vibrating object moves backwards, it creates a region of low pressure called rarefaction that is represented by R. As the object moves back and forth rapidly, a series of compressions and rarefactions are created in the air. These two types of pulses travel one behind the other, carrying the disturbance with it. This is how sound travels in air.